All right, uh, welcome to this very uh, sad edition of the Real Sports Rundown. Uh, before I get into the sports and all that stuff, something I gotta say, I gotta pay my respects, send out my prayers and condolences out to the Nick Marino uh, family. As uh, a friend of mine, grew up with him in Laporte. Uh, actually, grew up with his sister more. I know her. I knew his sister really well. I knew Nick uh, pretty well myself. Uh, he passed away a few days ago, and I want to pay my respects to him on my show. And I just want to say that you could not meet a greater guy. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say we were the best of friends, but anytime we ran into each other, man, we would shoot the you know we would shoot the shit you know just hey what's up how you been what's up you know what you've been up to I mean stuff like that man we had mutual respect for each other and I considered him a friend because every time I saw the kid man he was always smiling always laughing always having a good time man I don't think I ever saw that kid angry at all and he. Uh, we just we lost somebody that we should not have lost in this world because he brought joy to the world and I just I cannot imagine how the Marino family feels right now so I want to pay my respects and you know I just I, I don't even know what to say right now I'm still in shock by it all as is everybody as I'm sure if you're watching this um that new Nick, but everybody that new Nick, and I'm going to show some pictures here as you're looking. These aren't pictures from me. These are pictures that people have put up of Nick that they've had of him over the years. And as you can tell, man, this kid was always having a good time. And this just shows you how great of a person that he was, that everybody that I know is saying nothing but great things about him. Like, everybody I know, you know, everybody's like, wow, look at this kid, man. This is what he did. He was always smiling, always having a good time. So uh, these are pictures from friends that were posted up of him to pay their respects and honor Nick because, you know, Nick can never be replaced. We'll never forget him, though, because, I mean, he's in a better place right now, and you cannot, like I said, you cannot talk about a better guy. And I know he's in heaven right now with Ryan Smith playing some dominoes at the table. And uh, just show him how LP does it, Nick, man. Just uh, you and Ryan, man, y'all y'all show him how we do it back home, man. But um, once again, I just... <sighs> Nick Marino, great friend, great guy, always smiling, man. Rest in peace, my friend, and we'll catch you on the flip side, and we'll see you sooner or later. So, um, Nick Marino, gone. So uh, we got to get down to business here. I didn't do the show last week. Uh, I was a little busy doing some things, so I wasn't able to do it. So we got to talk about the Super Bowl, guys. The Super Bowl. New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl, and I believe I predicted that they were going to win that Super Bowl. So hey, I got at least the final game of the season right, man, because I got nothing right pretty much all season long, man. I just uh, I got a lot wrong. I got a lot right, but you know, hey, I got the Super Bowl pick right, so that was. Um, hey, I'm happy with that, man. Drew Brees, well deserved, man. I've been watching the guy since he played at Purdue. He played lights out. I mean, the guy, his completions, man. I think he only uh, didn't complete two or three passes or something like that, maybe four. I mean, that's just insane, man. I mean, and then you got the way it ended on the pick for six to pretty much seal the deal. Peyton Manning making a mistake. How often do you see that? Never, especially on the big stage, man. Peyton Manning making the mistake, costing the team the loss, you know. And, and I got to give props to Sean Payton, man. Coming out in the second half and doing an onside kick. Now, everybody would have ridiculed him if it didn't work. But guess what? What else are you going to do, man? It is the Super Bowl. You got to go balls out, man. You got to go balls to the wall and do everything you can to win. And guess what? It just happened to work for him. He kept the ball out of Peyton Manning's hands for well over an hour because of the halftime show that took so damn long. So uh, congratulations to New Orleans Saints, man. Well deserved. That city needed some uh, good news, man. They partied it up all week long, and now they got Mardi Gras going, so you know they're partying it up right now and uh, on Bourbon Street, man. So congratulations to New Orleans Saints. Congratulations to Sean Payton, Drew Brees, everybody there. Man, well-deserved win, man. Y'all earned it. 
Uh, just think, though, man. Just think if both of those teams would have been undefeated in the Super Bowl, man. How much greater would that have been? I mean, it already set a record for the most views ever. 106 million people watched that Super Bowl. Most watched television show ever or show or event anything. I mean, it beat out MASH, man. Who ever thought MASH would be beaten from their season fin- or series finale? I mean, it just... It was unbelievable, man. So just think if they were undefeated, both undefeated, man. That probably been a lot more people. So, all right. Now that football is done with, we're getting rid of it. All right. No more football talk until preseason starts. We might talk about some drafts, but you know what? Until then, football is done. Dada, as my boy Jay Sheridan would say. So you know what? What are we gonna focus on here today? We're gonna focus on baseball, baby, and some basketball. And some college, man. And you know what? I gotta put on my tire, folks. You know, because it is baseball season. Because pitchers and catchers have reported. That's right. It's finally here. Baseball season has finally started. Houston Astros, baby. We got a chance. Now I know you're laughing at me, but we do. All right, because everybody starts off zero and zero when the season starts there. So you know what? Baseball season is in effect. I've already purchased my tickets to opening day against the San Francisco Giants, where I'm sure Roy O versus Lincecum. That's gonna be a great pitching matchup right there. I can't wait to be there. I'm, it's, oh, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to go. But baseball's getting started, man. I'm so excited for it. Love baseball season, baby. And then, of course, you got basketball. you got lots of trades. you got lots of things going on. The Houston Rockets supposedly have uh, traded Carl Landry to the Sacramento Kings for Kevin Martin. Now, we'll have to wait and see. It hasn't been final yet. They're still working out the kinks and everything on that nature. Tracy McGrady possibly going to the Knicks, more than likely. So does this hurt the, does this hurt the Rockets? Probably not. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Carl Landry. But the fact that, I mean... You're, you're improving, but you're still. I mean, it's just it's it's really a toss up. You'd really know you don't know which way it could go. So how the trade will work out, we'll have to wait and see. But I believe the Rockets got a bona fide score, you know, to take over because I mean Martin's no joke, man. He averaged about 19 a game, I believe, is what my brother said. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that actually pans out. So I mean, you got basketball season. All the top teams, you know, they're not really doing a lot. The Lakers, the Cavs, actually the Cavs did get Antoine Jameson. That's going to help them out, man. My Tar Heel boy, man, he's going to help out them Cleveland Cavaliers. And you might see them in the NBA Finals, man. It's a it's a really, really good possibility that you might see them. And it might be against the Lakers, man. But you never know, though. The West is very tough, though. So we'll have to wait and see how that exactly turns out. And then, of course, you got college basketball. March Madness coming up, man. Conference tourneys. We'll be talking about that here in the coming weeks as well. So uh, you got baseball. you got NBA. you got college basketball, man. we got it all going on. And there's going to be a lot to talk about right now. So we'll get to that here in the coming weeks, man. We'll break some stuff down. So no more football talk. Football, you're gone. You're done. Dada. We don't care about you no more. I don't give a crap that ESPN is going to talk about football every single minute of every single day. Not on this show, guys. Sorry. That's not how we roll here. So uh, that's going to do it for the show today. Don't I know I didn't really discuss a whole lot, man. Still kind of in shell shock, all of everything that happened. So uh, in the coming weeks, man, we'll get into more detail on certain things. But uh, congratulations to New Orleans Saints. We're going to be talking about baseball, basketball, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, once again, my condolences go out to the Nick Marino and his family. I just I, the, We lost a great guy, man. I mean, there's nothing more you can say about that. So... Everybody, everybody, try to have a great weekend. If you're watching this and you knew Nick, I know it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very, very tough. Um, I know it's hard on me, and I mean, I, I knew him, but I didn't know him as well as maybe some of y'all did. So my prayers go out to you guys as well that y'all recover and get through this, man. So um, just everybody have try to have a great weekend and tell everybody that you love that you love them. Tell your friends you love them. Tell your family you love them because you never know when your time is going to come. So tell everybody that you know and care about that you love them. And everybody that watches this show, I love every single one of y'all, man. I really do. I appreciate y'all watching. And, you know, we'll just we'll leave it at that, man. So uh, rest in peace, Nick, man. We love you, buddy. You will be sorely missed, but truly never forgotten. So everybody have a great time, I guess. I try to have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. So everybody have a great one. See ya.